So you're thinking about getting a tattoo, right? Not just any kind of tattoo, but a neck tattoo in particular. And I totally get it. Let's cut to the chase. They're cool. They're cool to look at. There's a variety of designs. There's so many different things that you can do when it comes to the actual neck tattoo. Personally, I just got my neck tattoo. Just like you, I was thinking the exact same thing. They are super cool. Let me go ahead and make it happen. But I just got three words that I want to tell you before you actually follow through and commit when it comes to setting up an appointment and getting that neck tattoo. All right, so the three things that I want to say to you is... Don't, don't do it. Do it. YouTube, it's your boy D, aka the Strength Squad General, back in the building with another video. And before I get to rain, guys, before we even talk about anything or go any further, I gotta ask you guys to do me the easiest, freest thing that you can do and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications as well so that you can be notified every single time we come through and drop this good content. All right, I would appreciate it if you guys show me that much love. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be talking about. 10 things that you may want to consider when it comes to getting a neck tattoo. Um, first and foremost, guys, I was just joking. I got a neck tattoo done last week. I absolutely love it. I had to get you guys to click on the video. I had to get you guys to watch this content, but I absolutely love it. Um, I personally encourage anybody to go out there and do it. But at the same time, there's a few things that I want you guys to consider if this is your first time getting a neck tattoo or a tattoo in general. So today, that's what we're talking about. Without further ado, let's get into the top 10 things that you may want to consider before getting a neck tattoo. All right, number one, when it comes to getting a neck tattoo, guys, um, if you have the idea of wanting to get it done, I get it. It's a cool idea and things of that nature. I did it myself, as you can see. But um, I would say, number one, you may want to rethink it, all right? What do I mean by you may want to rethink it? Keep in mind, guys, it's something that's going on your body permanently, meaning you're going to have to wear this for the rest of your life, not half of your life, like the duration of your entire life. So um, that's a big move in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, when you decide to do it. Mind you, I thought about it for quite some time. Before I decided to do it, I knew that I wanted to commit. I thought about all of that. That said, sometimes in life, you may make uh, impulse decisions based off of just what is flashy in the moment, what looks good in the moment. But when it comes to getting a tattoo, I highly recommend that you really, really sit down with it. Give it some thought and ask yourself. So is this something that I really, really want to do? Make sure this is not an impulse decision. Think about your life down the road. All right, guys, number two, the second thing that I want you to consider prior to setting that date, making that appointment to get your neck tattoo is considering these two things, guys, your career choices. Think about your career down the road and also your ethics, guys. Is this something that fits into your life when it comes to your morals, your values, your religious beliefs, your religious practices? You may want to think twice before getting this neck tattoo if this is something that actually goes against your ethics. And when it comes to your career, just think about it. Um, if you decide that you want to do something, something that may actually come back to haunt you later on, if you want to take this particular road when it comes to your career choice. Certain positions, guys, let's just say you want to be a meteorologist or you want to be a news anchor or you want to climb up the corporate ladder, uh, you may want to rethink getting that neck tattoo as it may be shunned upon uh, within the company, the organization that you're trying to apply for. Again, you may meet all of the qualifications, you may have all the educational experiences, things of that nature, but that one thing could be holding you back from actually landing the job that you want again when it comes to your ethics guys when it comes to your religious practices when it comes to your morals and values you may want to give that some serious consideration because once the ink is on it stays all right number three guys the third thing that i want you to consider is the question does size matter when it comes to the size of the tattoo that's what we're talking about man please get your mind out of the gutter when it comes to this guys three things that i want you to consider when it comes to this particular question does size matter three p's guys three p's guys that i want you to consider is pricing pain and placement all of these things make a huge difference when it comes to considering this tattoo guys all right let's talk about the first point which is pricing all right keep in mind neck tattoos can get a bit pricey guys especially if you go with a decent tattoo artist so don't be alarmed if your artist quotes you something a little bit out of the range that you may have been expecting thinking about the size of maybe a previous tattoo that you got or you may compare the actual artwork or you may compare the actual size and say you know what it costed me this much how come it cost me more to get it on my neck as opposed to on my arm now keep in mind guys when it comes to your neck it is a very very uncomfortable place for the artist as well as for yourself and also it's just a difficult place a difficult place for the artist to have to work again it's a very uncomfortable position for you to be in um, getting your tattoo done and as well as the artist who has to really really like 
move you around in so many different positions and also where it's placed guys it's a very very delicate area of your body so just take that into consideration that it may be a little bit more pricey than you expect but at the end of the day um if you got a dope artist and they know what they're doing it's all worth it in the end second point when it comes to this question the size matter is pain tolerance all right now you got to understand that when it comes to getting a tattoo the larger the tattoo regardless of where you place it on your body you got to know that you know there's going to be more pain possibly more pain attached and associated to it so consider the pain tolerance as well that you may have to endure when it comes to the actual size of the tattoo you know what i mean like it may look fancy to you it looks cool to watch but just understand that you may be under some duress when it comes to that so consider that when it comes to the actual sizing of your tattoo and the third part to this guys is the placement um understand Understand, guys that when it comes to again when it comes to the artist doing work on your neck certain areas may be a little bit more difficult for the artist to get to so alongside the size of your tattoo and where you're actually getting it placed on your neck understand that you want your artist to be as detailed as much as possible so there will be some discomfort when it comes to some aspects again of how you may have to position your body and also the artist and how they have to position themselves in order to get this ink done so again just make sure that you reference the three P's take good notation of it pricing pain and placement. Alright guys, so the fourth point that I want to make before getting your neck tattoo, I need you guys to plan for the future. Alright, so we kind of spoke on that earlier when I talked to you guys about thinking about your career choices and things of that nature, but also when it comes to if you decide that you want to, you know, add more artwork to your neck, your body, you always want to think about not just the actual tattoo that you're getting in the moment, in the spirit of the moment, but also think about the other tattoos that you may want to acquire in the future. So let's just say you get a big cross right here, but you also want to get a clock somewhere on your neck and it may not necessarily work for you so think about like the full detail the full landscape of the actual tattoos that you may want to forecast getting in the future alongside the tattoo that you actually want to get in the moment when i first started getting tattoos to be honest with you i would just get a piece here and a piece there and then realize how much thought and effort goes into it especially if your tattoo has meaning behind it you may want to definitely take a step back and start thinking about all of the work that you want to get done all right guys so my fifth point the fifth thing that i want to make this is a crucial one all right, so for all you rookies out there who have zero tattoos and you're considering getting a neck tattoo as your very first tattoo, you may want to reconsider that. I mainly say this, guys, based on the pain tolerance. If you have never had a tattoo before, you may want to try to get an idea, you know, get your feet wet, try something out on an area such as maybe your arm or somewhere in a different area because the neck, I'm going to tell you straight up, a very, very sensitive spot, one of the most sensitive spots when it comes to getting ink. Not to discourage you, I'm not saying the idea of getting a neck tattoo is not cool, I'm not saying that, but if this is your very first tattoo i want you to understand that the neck area is very sensitive i'll talk to you guys about the pain tolerance and how i felt about the pain um some points down the line but for the most part you want to get an idea of how much pain you can actually tolerate when it comes to getting ink you never know you know what i'm saying some people really really have a hard time sitting under the needle other people not so much so in my opinion i would say maybe Try a different area of your body first. Get an idea of what it's like to taste some ink for the first time because um, if you decide to go with the neck tattoo, especially if it's a large piece for your very first time, you might be in for a rude awakening when it comes to the pain, guys, because just to forewarn you, it's not a game. You will be under some duress, but anyway, just give it some thought. If you're having a hard time getting a small tattoo somewhere else, you may want to rethink your whole journey because getting ink, just know that you will be under some type of pain. So, you know, just think about that before you actually go about getting this neck tattoo in my opinion. All right, this brings me to another point that I want to make, which is crucial. Let's talk about pain tolerance. Let's talk about me personally when it comes to my experience of sitting behind the ink. Now, mind you, this is not my very first tattoo. Um, this is not the first time of me getting ink. I have ink throughout several areas of my body. I plan on getting more ink. But let's just say from my experience, again, this is my first time touching the neck, guys. All right, so before going into it, in my mind, I was thinking, all right, I could take this. I could handle this. You know what I'm saying? I got ink um, on other parts of my body. Literally, the last tattoo that I had, guys, I actually sat in chopping it up with the artist we was laughing and joking you know my mind wasn't really on it you know what i'm saying so i was like you know what this would probably be a breeze i've been under the ink a few times some areas was a little bit uncomfortable but i can handle this you know what i'm saying i'm a g i could take it all right but hold fast stop the press um i'm gonna be honest with you guys out of all the tattoos that i got this one was the most painful all i could do was think about the pain the entire time i was doing everything in my power to combat that pain and fight that pain off literally it was me versus the ink me versus the needle the entire time guys i could not wait for the session to be over it took about an hour and a half to two hours but it felt like all 
update. Literally, guys, I had to pep talk myself every single time she turned that needle on or switched out gloves. All I could think about was getting myself geared up and prepared and revved up for taking on this ink, guys. It was the most excruciating pain that I personally have ever, ever felt when it comes to getting ink. For example, every time she turned that thing on, I had to tell myself, I am stronger than this. I'm stronger than this. I go to the gym, I lift, I'm stronger than this. And every single time she would dig that needle into my skin, guys, I was acting as if I was in the gym, lifting the heaviest weight, doing everything in my power to try to fight away the idea of the pain. And it didn't really work, to be honest with you guys. It didn't work. I literally just had to sit there and suffer. And um, I'm just giving you guys my experience. Some people, it may not be that bad of an experience. Don't be discouraged, because for you, it may not be that bad of an experience. But for me, this one right here was on my mind the entire time. Do I regret it? Not at all. I absolutely love it. If your artist is dope, just sit through the pain in my pain. If you could tolerate the pain, would I do it again knowing how it feels? Absolutely. You know, I personally, even though it was tough, uh, even though it was one of those things that was very, very challenging on mentally and physically, um, I would definitely sit through it again. But anyway, y'all, let's move on to the next point. Again, this is a crucial one. Um, educate yourself when it comes to the actual work that you're looking to get done, especially if you're going off of an image that you already seen, whether you saw it on the website, or whether you see it on the wall at the shop, or in general, educate yourself about the tattoo because a lot of the times these tattoos can have certain meanings that you may not agree with. So let's just say, you know, you got to the point where you realize that getting a tattoo in general, it does fit your morals, it fits your values, it doesn't get in the way of your religious practice. But let's just say you go with a tattoo where the actual meaning of the tattoo is completely something that you're against. Let's just say, you know, you're all about heaven and the tattoo that you get is all about hell. It's all about death. It's all about skulls and bones. Just everything that goes completely against everything that you stand for in life. So here you are, you're like, you know what? I'm approved, my morals is this, my standards is that. I'm okay with it, but at the same time, my tattoo means the complete opposite of everything that I stand for in life. So educate yourself before you get your tattoo. When you select a tattoo, make sure that you actually know the definition of the tattoo, especially if it's an original design, because nine times out of 10, it means something. So find out the definition and get confirmation before getting that tattoo, or just go with something original, but before you go with it. Also, when it comes to like certain gang signs and things of that nature, gang meanings, gang references, you may want to definitely make sure that it doesn't represent any of those things before you actually get the tattoo because you don't want that type of problems out here. You don't want it to be where you come across any type of issues where somebody is looking at you a certain way and all you wanted was a simple tattoo. So you definitely don't want to put nothing on your body that's going to cause problems for your life. Things that's going to, you know, go against your morals, your code of conduct, your standards, things of that nature, just something to consider before you actually get it inked. Next up guys, you may want to consider getting earplugs for several reasons guys. Now mind you, especially closer up near the ear, it gets very, very loud, especially when it gets near the bone. Um, it gets extremely loud and um, it may be something that irritates you just to listen to. Just keep in mind, all you're going to hear is constant buzzing in your ear, which won't help when it comes to the actual pain. And when you hear that constant buzzing in your ear, you're already under duress, you're already stressed, your body is already undergoing stress. That'll probably most likely add to it. You know what I'm saying? You're doing everything in your power to try to fight off the pain. And just hearing that constant buzzing in your ear may not necessarily help. Again, numbing cream and earplugs. Just a couple things that can help you when it comes to sitting through the pain and getting your tattoo. All right, guys, last but not least, this is, again, crucial. A crucial point is aftercare. So you got your tattoo done. You know what I'm saying? It look good. You're excited about it. You're excited about sharing it with your friends and family and everybody who you love. But one thing that's important is not done. As soon as you walk out is where the work is on your part. The artist did their job. Now it's time for you to do your part. It's time for you to do your job, which is taking care of your actual tattoo. When your tattoos start healing and you start seeing the scabs, do not help the scabs. Just listen to your artist. Your artist is going to give you instructions on how to take care of your tattoo properly. Listen to your artist. And in a nutshell, consider this entire process as a collaborative effort. It's going to take the both of you guys to do some work in order for this to come out beautiful, guys. So the artists you chose, they're dope with what they do. They came through with a beautiful masterpiece. Now it's your turn to take care of your end of the bargain, your end of the deal. You want to make sure that you're going about the aftercare part.
apart properly. The two merge together, they come together. Two, three weeks later, boom, you are completely satisfied. You have a successful neck tattoo or tattoo in general. Just like you want your artist to take your tattoo serious, you need to take your tattoo just as serious when it comes to making sure that this thing is healthy when it's all said and done. All right, guys, this will conclude the video. Hopefully, you guys appreciated it. If you did, make sure that you comment on the video, like the video, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications because more good content is on the way. All right, 10 things that I want you guys to consider prior to setting up that appointment, going in and getting some ink work, not just when it comes to the neck, but specifically when it comes to this video. But in general, if you're deciding that you want to get a tattoo, just give these points in consideration. And hopefully, the points that I made convey to you and will help you when it comes to your journey of getting tattoos, guys. As always, y'all do what brings life to you. And it's a great chance that you'll bring life to whatever it is that you do. Please do not let those words go over your head. Let it marinate in your heart. All right, till the next time, y'all. More content on the way. You already know we keep it lit. Strength, we in the building. Let's go.